So Grand Theft Auto 6 fans think they have found the first legitimate leaked footage of GTA 6, and it actually came from Rockstar Games themselves. We'll be talking about all that in this video today, and a whole lot more. So we keep getting little snippets from Rockstar Games and even Take-Two Interactive. They keep calling it the next installment in the Grand Theft Auto series, that its development is well underway, that it's going to be groundbreaking and it's going to set records in the entertainment industry. Yet we still don't even have the official title of the game, although I'm pretty sure it's gonna be GTA 6. We don't have any screenshots, we don't have any footage of it, but fans think they might have actually found some, and we're all getting really anxious. Now this all started last Friday on August 5th, 2022, when Rockstar put out a post on their Newswire page, and this immediately had GTA 6 fans not really all that happy, because it was another Circo Loco Records post. They were presenting On My Own from DJ Tennis and Ashy featuring Lady Don Lee, now available. They were essentially saying that a couple of new tracks are available. You can listen to them on the Circo Loco site. The Newswire page itself didn't talk about anything related to video games. It was all about music. And obviously a lot of fans were not super thrilled about that, but it did get them to dive into Circo Loco Records and their videos a little bit more. So Circo Loco Records has a YouTube page and they don't have a ton of subscribers, but back on May 24th, 2021, they put out a video called Introducing Circo Loco Records. And this is where fans believe they have spotted the first ever footage of GTA 6. And it actually begins in the very first clip. So I'm gonna slow this down as low as I can and we'll show you guys what we're looking at right here. It's this footage of an airplane going over a palm tree. You can see there's power lines in the background, and a lot of people have said that this doesn't look like real life footage. This looks like footage from a video game, but not necessarily footage of something from Grand Theft Auto V. And it also looks like it could be the intro to something like GTA 6. It's kind of cinematic, it kind of shows off the landscape. We know that Grand Theft Auto 6 is gonna take place in Vice City. Now, there are plenty of places around the world that have power lines, airplanes, and palm trees. So a lot of fans were saying that this has to be the footage of Grand Theft Auto 6. Rockstar snuck it in there, they didn't think anyone would notice, and a lot of people started rolling with this. In fact, a lot of people even started breaking down the various palm trees that we see in Grand Theft Auto V, making direct comparisons to those, saying that that is not the palm tree in question. Yes, I love how passionate Grand Theft Auto fans are about this sort of stuff, that they're breaking down the various types of palm trees to see whether or not this is actually the real deal. A lot of people are saying, I can't wait till when the actual GTA 6 trailer comes out and this is the opening of the trailer and we were right all the way along. Others are saying that that shot is way too smooth to have been captured in real life. They said the way the camera follows the plane's path perfectly is so smooth, you have to nail the timing perfectly in real life to get a shot like that, which is virtually impossible. However, when you're working digitally, you have all the time you need and can place the plane wherever you want and make the camera follow it as it does in the video automatically. Others are saying that because not a lot of people are paying attention to their record label as much as what they pay attention to to their gaming news and stuff like that, it could have been a way to sneak in the reveal before the full-scale announcement. So let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. Do you think this is footage of Grand Theft Auto 6 or do you think this is a real life image or real life video because it looks like this footage, whether it's in the video game or not, was taken outside of a real nightclub called DC10 in Ibiza, Spain. You can actually see this footage right here where you have what looks to be the exact same palm tree. I'm not saying that this is the only unique looking palm tree in the world, but you got the power lines going underneath it. So it very much could be the exact same shot that Rockstar ended up getting cinematically. So this would certainly be bold of Rockstar to put the first ever footage of GTA 6 in something not on their YouTube channel and something completely unrelated to video games themselves. But they are in partnership with Circo Loco, so you never know, and it could have been a way in which they just sort of slipped something in 
to see if fans end up noticing. Now, we know the graphics of GTA 6 are going to be absolutely insane, and this has been confirmed even more by Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds too. He ended up saying this the other day, GTA 6 will benefit from new tech called motion matching, which would reduce the dependency on motion capture sessions. So I'm sure if you're like me, you're probably wondering what is motion matching? So motion matching is actually a way to animate a character in a controlling way by jumping and blending between pre-recorded animation sequences several times a second. So basically this is a simple yet powerful way of animating characters in game, and especially compared to other methods. It doesn't require very much manual work once you have the basic setup. And because we're still kind of in the pandemic, motion capture sessions might be hard to come by, especially where rules and regulations are different between various cities and states and countries. So not having to have someone physically in person in order to do the motion capture work or to be able to create a realistic situation might be helping Rockstar all the way around. Now, first and foremost, if you have not already checked out the Bloomberg report and read it for yourself, I highly recommend checking it out. It's a really awesome report. We've never seen anything like this before in regards to GTA 6, and it contains a ton of new information. So I will leave a link to it in the description down below, and be sure to check it out after watching this video. Regardless, in today's video, I want to discuss a number of the points made in this report in regards to the release timeline for GTA 6. Now, as we all know, GTA 6 has been taking a very long time to release, and believe it or not, Rockstar is totally aware of the issue. They know that GTA 6 has been taking longer than expected, and there's actually a number of reasons behind it. First and foremost, it is worth noting that GTA 6 development, according to the report, has started in 2014. Now, of course, when I say development, at that point it was only planning and no actual game development was going on, however, Rockstar started working on GTA 6 just one year after releasing GTA 5, which is pretty crazy. Now, the first issue that contributed to the long wait for GTA 6 is the major changes that Rockstar made to the game. Now, quite possibly the biggest change that was made from the initial plans for the game was the removal of Project Americas, which was the idea of having multiple maps in one game. Originally, when Rockstar wanted to make GTA 6, they wanted the game to have multiple locations and different areas you can visit, such as areas in South and North America, and just overall multiple countries and states and areas that you can go in between, unlike what we've had with previous games where it's kind of just one big island and not really many different areas that you can explore other than that one main island. Now, the main reason why Project Americas was scrapped is simply because of the success of GTA Online. Instead of focusing on such a big map for the game, Rockstar would rather make content for GTA Online and instead expand it in the future with DLC updates. So now the game is allegedly going to contain the map of Miami, which of course is Vice City, and the map itself is allegedly going to be a little bit bigger than what we've had with GTA 5. However, the initial map is going to be very similar to what we've had with previous GTA games. It is not going to be Project Americas, it's going to be a singular island. There are rumors about other locations, including Cuba and possibly a Liberty City. However, those are only going to be for specific single player missions. They're not actually going to be maps that you can explore, but the main map is going to be Vice City. It's going to be bigger. And the most important thing to note in the article is they say that this map is going to contain the most interiors out of any GTA game prior to it. So that means more buildings can be entered entered and explored without going through loading screens. Now, the report mentions very clearly multiple times that Rockstar intends to expand this map in the future with DLC updates. So Rockstar is clearly building the tech within the underground code of GTA 6 to allow them to expand the map and add new locations. So Rockstar is still planning for Project Americas to go forward at one point. However, the initial release of the game is not going to be Project Americas. Now, another reason why GTA 6 has been taking so long is the major changes that have happened at Rockstar Games as a company. 
Now, I've known that Rockstar Games has made some major changes over the past couple of years, ever since the release of Red Dead Redemption 2, however this report shines a new light at them and really just shows what's been going behind the scenes and it is really interesting to see. Now, one of the major issues and scandals that Rockstar faced after the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 is the idea of crunch time. Now, crunch time is actually quite simple to understand. It's simply the time right before a game releases when developers and anyone else working on the game needs to stay extra and work long hours to get the game out of the door to make sure they meet the deadlines that Rockstar sets. Now crunch time doesn't necessarily need to be at the final release, it can also be at other milestones during the game development process, but the bottom line is that developers and anyone else working on the game are spending longer hours working on it to make sure they're meeting the deadlines that were set. Now, Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably the most infamous story of this over the past couple of years. According to many reports, a lot of the employees were working 100 hour weeks right before the game released. There was, of course, some dispute between Rockstar and other employees and the news agencies. Regardless, crunch time was certainly an issue with Red Dead Redemption 2, and this is also an issue across the entire industry, not just at Rockstar. Now with GTA 6, Rockstar is allegedly trying to take a more humane approach to developing this game by allowing their employees to simply have more time. They restructured a lot of the ways that they're producing the game to allow employees to have more time without needing too much crunch time. Now I'm sure there's going to be some crunch time before the game releases, but I'm hoping that it's going to be considerably less than what we saw with Red Dead Redemption 2 a couple of years ago. So because of these major changes, and also Rockstar employees having more time to do what they do best, which is really good to see, it is likely a contributor to why GTA 6 has been taking a little bit longer than expected. 